Good morning, uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Bruna, and my presentation today is about the effects of light wavelength on browsers more than meets the eye. So, varying wavelength is an option for browser production, especially with the use of LED light bulbs. However, raising animals under different wavelengths can lead to alterations in behavior, where birds raised under low wavelengths, such as blue, are usually calmer than birds raised under long wavelengths, such as red. But what is not clear is if the changes in behavior are associated with alterations in birds' visual system and color vision. The question is, do birds behave differently because they're not able to see well? So to address this question, the objective of this research was to assess the impact of uh, raising broilers under three light colors on eye health and spatial vision. The light treatments were blue light, green light, and white light. Several tests to assess eye health and vision were performed. To assess eye health, we conducted a complete ophthalmic examination with the assessment of chromatic papillary reflex, rebound sonometry, anterior segment biomicroscopy, and indirect ophthalmoscopy. We also performed a series of eye measurements. To assess these, birds were euthanized, the eyes were enucleated, and dimensions and weight were taken. We also assessed the refraction index, and for that, we used an ultra reflector. We performed a spatial vision test, where birds raised under either white light or blue light went under a grading acuity test at three different distances. Onto the results. One of our eye health assessments was to measure intraocular pressure. So if intraocular pressure values are higher than normal, birds could show vision loss or even glaucoma. The results here show that, that light treatments did not affect intraocular pressure. And I would, I would also like to point out that the intraocular pressure is in the normal range in all light treatments. The remaining ophthalmic examinations did not review any abnormalities as well. In the test of eye measurements, any alteration in eye shape and size could influence vision. For eye dimensions and weight, no alterations and no differences between light treatments were found. For the refraction index, the use of an ultra refractor detects if the eye properly, properly focuses an image. The results here show that birds raised under blue light had higher sphere value as compared to birds raised under white light. This indicates that birds raised under blue light could be considered slightly more farsighted, which means that they can see distant objects more clearly, but the objects nearby may be blurry. On the other hand, birds raised under white light can be considered slightly more nearsighted, where distant objects may appear blurry. We also conducted a spatial vision test in order to identify if the birds were able to discriminate the details of their visual scene. In this test, birds were placed at three different distances, either under blue light or white light, and the time they took to approach the correct stimulus and their success in doing so was measured. The results here show that birds raised under white light took more time to approach a stimulus at 50 and 75 centimeters of distance, which means that birds raised under blue light were faster on approaching a stimulus at a smaller distance. At 100 centimeters of distance, birds raised under blue light had a higher success rate as compared to birds raised under white light. This indicates that birds raised under blue light were more successful at the discrimination of the details in the scene at a longer distance than birds raised under white light. So for conclusion, the exposure to blue light resulted only in minor differences in refraction and spatial vision. Birds raised under blue light were slightly more farsighted than birds, birds raised under white light. However, they were able to be faster on approaching an object at a smaller distance, and they were more successful when approaching an object in a longer distance than birds raised under white light. However, what is not clear is if these differences are sufficient to fully explain the changes in behavior that we perceive in birds raised under blue light. It's important to say that this is a continuing research that aims to understand the mechanisms of these behavioral changes. 
Thank you very much. All right, thank you, Bruna. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we've got a question already. Um, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that birds can see outside the visible spectrum. How might this factor into the interpretation of your results or direct future research? Yeah, birds uh, are able to perceive, um, they have a different spectral sensitivity than us. And for that, we also use a different light intensity uh, assessment, considering that, considering birds special spectral sensitivity. Okay, and uh, did you study lighting and laying eggs? No, just some broilers. Okay. And I believe that's all the questions we have at this point. Thank you for your presentation. Oh, wait. Thank you. Oh, yeah, there's uh, one more, sorry. This is great foundational research. Would the same results be expected for other types of birds? Sorry, what? I didn't understand. Um, it says, this is great foundational research. Would the same results be expected for other types of birds? Um, I believe so. Um, if, if they have this, the same spectral sensitivity, I believe they could be applied, yes. Yeah. Okay, and the question about, um, what was the light intensity? Yeah, we calculated using clocks, which takes into account the spectral sensitivity, of course. So in the first week, it was uh, around nine cluxes, and for the remaining weeks of the trial, it was for 14.1 cluxes. Excellent.